So how do you care for your favorite Birkenstocks? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you just that. Coming up. Thanks for joining me from my patio in Hawaii. If this video inspires you, be sure to check out the whole series of the Cobbler Masterclass. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me on this Cobbler's Masterclass. If you haven't checked out the whole series, be sure to do so. In this video though, we're going to touch base about Birkenstocks. I'm going to show you a before picture of this pair. So um, I've done a couple of big videos on how to completely repair your Birkenstock. So if you are one of those motivated individuals that wants to do it themselves, click this link here and I'll put my, my most viewed video for you. However, in this video, it's about caring for the Birkenstock. So in that before picture I showed you, they were pretty beat up. Um, she just needed some gluing on hers and so we glued her soles back together. But I took it one step further because you could tell they really needed some extra care. So I cleaned them and then I went ahead and even after I cleaned them, they still had all of these dirt stains on them. So I went ahead and used some thinner, I'll uh, show you that. I like my oil can, my thinner in an oil can. It makes it really easy and you'll see that in the video. And I stripped off that first layer of paint that was on the shoe and it had a pearlized uh, paint on it. Um, but it did kind of take that off, which I anticipated was going to happen, but it also got rid of all the dirt and stains. So then I went ahead and applied uh, the one coat of this pearlized paint. This is part of my uh, paint collection that you'll see in the paint video, but I like this. This is a great, just adds a little shine as you can see on this video. Um, really brought this shoe back to life. So that's a nice helpful hint for you. But one of the biggest things that you can do to keep your Birkenstocks alive is apply Cork Renew. I sell a lot of this. I really encourage people to put this on their Birkenstocks because these Birkenstock soles are expensive to replace. They're hard for you to get as a consumer. Um, not so much for a shoe repair, but even at that, they're expensive. So they bring your whole cost of shoe repair up to the cost of just buying a new Birkenstock. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just show you that today. It's really easy to do. It's like using the old um, Elmer's glue back in the day. So we'll go ahead and show that and I'll give you a picture of the shoe when it's all done. And thank you for joining me. This was a quick video. But I think you'll also find the other videos very helpful, especially if you're interested in working from home. I'm doing this as a little side business. People like to repair their Birkenstocks. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and possibly sharing this video to somebody who think would find it useful. Thanks again from Maui. Aloha. I've made it really easy to find the supplies. Go to my website, click that Amazon link takes you to my Amazon shopping cart where everything is organized by category, makes it super easy. And when you shop here, you support me. Okay, I'm ready to go. I like to use the big jug because I do so much cleaning. And uh, I'm gonna leave this camera here so I can get you guys some really good close up, up close shots. So I like to shake it up because there are a bunch of little crystals inside here. For this video, we're using the Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. This pair of Birkenstocks is pretty beat up. Um, it's, we're gonna, we're gonna clean it and see how clean it comes. But I'll probably um, add a coat of paint to this. I, I have a pearl glaze in part of my paint collection that I might do for her that'll just kind of lift the color. This customer, she was super nice and it's, I'm only doing it as a benefit for her, a perk, she didn't pay for it, but I want to because I thought she was really nice and so I thought it'd be a good demonstration as well. So I'm going to clean this. And let it dry. Same with the other one and I like to uh, open up all of the buckles on shoes because that way you can get in underneath. You know these are 
pretty dirty inside here so it's nice to just get all of it because if you've got a rust issue you know or a mold issue you want to stop it in its tracks and not let it grow any further So this brush I'm using is made by a company called Taco, T-A-C-C-O, and they do a lot of uh, my shoe br my polish brushes, these uh, nylon brushes, they're really durable. I do tell clients if they don't want to buy the actual brush, they can get a fingernail brush from the store. So here I'm using the thinner that I spoke about with my oil can. And as you can see, this dirt is really, um, I wasn't able to clean it out with the cleaner. So the only way to really get these spots is with the thinner. So you can see here uh, the dirt is really starting to lift out especially as I come up closer on the strap here um, you know a little bit of elbow grease going over it a couple of times so in these big stains you can just see going around where the buckle has sat and where that like this big rust stain that I'm working on right here just uh, you know again a little bit of elbow grease and it does actually lift right off I'm avoiding going over the Birkenstock logo trying to keep it you know on the side people won't notice as much if I miss a little spot but I don't want to take off the uh, Birkenstock logo I think this client's really going to be thrilled at the change once she sees it finally finished. Now I'm coming over here into this buckle area and again as I mentioned these buckles they tend to rust you know so uh, uh, you'd be surprised what you can clean off with this thinner. All right, the fun part for me is applying the pearl glaze. It's super easy. Um, I have taken off most of the uh, original pearl with that thinner. So it doesn't take much of this. I'm probably only gonna do one coat. Uh, we just want a, a, a real sheer pearl glaze look on it, not a thick white pearl glaze. <music> brush is great for getting the big spaces but it does leave a brush line and I don't want that effect so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of my own sponging technique on it just to kind of smooth it out and that way you don't see the streaks from the paintbrush <music>
So here we are, we're going to use our cork renew. This stuff is great. It looks just like Elmer's glue. Uh, the big brush is a little bit wonky, but it doesn't really matter. Every, it dries up super clear, so you don't have to be perfect with it. I don't mind going up on the edges into fabric or, you know, wherever it goes. It, like I said, it'll dry really clear and just actually ends up giving more protection to all the areas on which it lands. Thank you.